Welcome back to Deus Ex Human Revolution. Thank you for joining me. Um, when we left off last, we were on our way down to get the last scientist. We came into this area from the left. Doesn't appear to be a lot on the radar, but I don't think I have much in terms of the radar visibility uh, torso, our arm, head, skin, back, eye eye is probably where you get that cool down just suppressing, no, that's not where you get it where do you get it? stealth enhancer, maybe? radar system, that's probably it uh, double the range, so we don't have the range at the moment um, <coughs> Me? Declan Faherty was the oldest member of Megan's team. He's in the facility somewhere, and I need to find and speak with him. So that's who we're after. Class on both sides. So. Okay. People in bed. Being happy. Can't speak to them. Nope. Okay. Nobody in here. Reaching out for somebody. Then. It's just standing around. Let's have a quick look. Dead bodies. Don't think there's anybody in here, but be careful. Can't. Okay, there's a wall we can break through. This is just a terminal. Give a one shot. So we want to. Fortify, back, fortify, back, back, fortify. Access granted. No subject. Jackson, my old friend, you were right about the GPL implants. These bastards are using them to keep track of us, and they'll continue to do so unless we sh can shut down their tracking and jamming protocols. Feel up to another vagina attack? Because we need to discuss this in person. <clears throat> um, Megan, I'm really getting worried about this signal pattern they've got me working on. If it's truly meant to transmit software upgrades to limb patients, why do they want it to broadcast wideband across multiple frequencies simultaneously? And what exactly is it going to transmit? I know these wankers are probably monitoring every email, every mail I sent you, but I can't ignore my gut. For some reason, I am reminded of Delgado's work with electrical stimulation and the brain. Am I wrong to think there is a connection? I know you're nervous, Declan, and to be honest, I am too, but Delgado's work centered on the use of electrical signals to evoke emotional responses in the brain. He was targeting the amygdala and hippocampus. H assures me we are not doing that, and I trust him. 
reasons I'll explain when I can. Until then, please don't risk yourself by sending me emails like this one. Stick to research questions only because you're right. I'm sure they are monitoring every word we type. Jensen? Good grief, lad. What the blaze has happened to you? I made the mistake of surviving. I'm here to get you out, Dr. Faraday. I told the silly that Seraph wouldn't stop looking. Sevchenko's dead, Dr. Faraday. I'm sorry. I figured as much. One day, he was just gone, and they wouldn't say why. We were all afraid, so we just kept to the work. They forced me to create a signal pattern that could broadcast software upgrades directly into a person's implanted circuitry. Upgrades? That do what? Whatever instructions have been encoded into them. They said it was to improve efficiency at clinics, but that wouldn't be the only application. Far from it. I see. Dr. Faraday, we need to free Megan from the isolation zone. I've got a plan to distract the guards. Three lab accidents. I like your style, son. And it just might work if you can get near an Eric to agree. But timing them to occur at once, that will be the trick. I'll worry about the timing. For now, sit tight and wait for my signal. There's one thing you're forgetting, lad. They can track our GPL signals. I know. But I'm hoping you might have the solution to that problem. Sevchenko's viral program. Of course! I shouldn't have underestimated you. Vasily gave it to me before he... Disappeared. Here you are. Upload it onto the central security computer. It will scramble their scanners. I would have done it myself, but I'm just a scientist. Don't sell yourself short, dog. Okay, so security terminal. Kidnappings. Any idea who's behind this, doc? The kidnapping, the facility? Not really. Remarkable, considering I've been here six months. You would have thought someone would let something slip. But if it doesn't have to do with the research, you don't get a word out of them. Sounds like the guards are well trained. But what kind of threats were needed to stop the other researchers from talking? Well, there were threats early on just to get us to work. Of course, Vasily saw right through that. Kept saying they needed us. I suppose in his case, the risk outstripped the return at some point. Damn them. Dr. Sevchenko probably knew the risks and accepted them. That he did. Go on, lad. Let's put this plan of yours into action. It's time to teach these wankers a lesson. Security terminal. Tell me, where do I find this security terminal? Vasily told me there's a tunnel leading to it, near the back of the compound, I believe. But I'm afraid you'll have to explore a bit to be sure. Once okay. I upload the virus, it'll be time to Do act. That? I'll signal you. A vibration in your GPL. Be ready. Understood, lad. But do be careful. Okay, what do we got in here? Hold on. Did we break through that wall? Or do that? Let's take a look at them. Here. Okay, we're in the basement. We need to be at this level. Down here. Pretty far away. Okay, so what is this? Yes. Okay. There's another way in. From outside.
didn't leave us too far off of our going either. Good. We've unlocked the end. Let's move that there. Rockets don't have drop those. Explosives. This is crossbow. Destroying that camera will trigger the robot. Mm. Or we upload. 
Didn't see what level it was. Three, okay. Mm, we've got two. Two places to go. Two things going to attack. They have to go up that way. So do I. Okay. There we go. Not too bad. Access granted. Okay, so robots, enemies, please and thank you. Save the camera. No turrets, no doors. Okay. Pritchard, are you still tracking the scientists? Of course. Simulate feedback along that route. Make it strong enough to vibrate their implants. They have to feel it. A signal, eh? Not bad, Jensen. I'm sending it now. Check in here first. One that I know. Sniper. Machine pistol. Okay. <clears throat> Your tenacity, Adam Jensen, is really quite irritating. We'd like you to stop now. I'm afraid I can't, so. <clears throat> you see, I figured it out. I know what you and your conspiracy buddies are planning. Do you? How clever. A new biochip. A software upgrade that limits what augmentations can do. One of these They're creating a kill like switch. Rest. You kidnap Megan Reed's team to do it, and you're seizing control of the market to ensure it gets distributed. All because you're afraid of people like me. Augmented people, with the power to resist you. No one's afraid of you, Mr. Jensen. All your blundering around and childish interference hasn't stopped a thing. Tell me, have you been to a limb clinic lately? Hi. Let me guess. That was supposed to shut me down, right? Leave me broken and begging? The Augs are recalled! You should be offline! <laughs> Women never fail to underestimate men. You should have stayed dead, Jensen. Yes. 
with those around. That's my rifle. Yeah, I don't know. Darren, is that you? Not exactly. Adam? Oh my god, Adam! It's you. You're hurt. What happened? What happened to you? I risked my life for you, Megan. I came halfway around the world, and for what? It's not what you think. Are you part of this? No! No, Adam, I swear it! The kidnapping was real. The attack on Seraph Industries, they came after me. They wanted my research. And when did you decide they could have it? It didn't happen like that. I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't. I couldn't. And then David said we had to use it. We owed it to mankind. David, what are you talking about? My great discovery. The genetic framework I found that makes it easier for living tissue to bond with implants. I found it. In you, Adam. I used your DNA. Mm -hmm. I wanted to tell you, I swear. But David convinced me what it could mean for mankind. How much better off we could all be. It took Hugh to make me see how wrong I was. Hugh? Hugh Darrow. He owns this facility. After Namir brought us here... Richard! Patch me into Seraph, now! Adam, please! He was only pretending to work with Tai Young and the others. He found out what they were planning to do and told them he would help. But only to make sure they never succeeded. Their control signal won't work. Thank you, David. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Saraf here has asked me to show the world how human enhancement technology can change it. After careful deliberation, I've decided I must do exactly that. Forgive me. Okay. He's modified the control signal. Anyone with a new biochip will be affected. Hugh never said anything about this. I'm going back for the scientists. No, Adam! I know the complex better than you. I'll find them. There's a hangar bay through there. Get to its control room and retract the roof. Clear a path for us. Okay. Uh, is there anything in this room? Yeah, not great. Let's go with this. 
confirm. Uh, it's very five, okay. EG on this. That as well. Reimagining retinal implants, Dr. DeVale's success. Insert from a paper published by Hugh Darrow in American Scientific 2010. Many of you may not have heard of Dr. Dobell. Dr. Dobell is a doctor from New York whose specialty is in designing artificial organs. Several years ago, he embarked on a, he embarked a project to implement an artificial eye which could transmit information straight into the optical lobe of the brain. For those of you still new to neuroscience, the occipital, occipital, not octal, whatever I said, lobe is one of the four lobes of the human brain. It is located at the back of the head and is responsible mostly for our visual processing. The goal of Dr. Of Dr. Dobell was to create an implant with an electrode array and surgically insert it in, onto the surface of the occipital lobe's visual cortex. This way the camera could transmit straight to the brain instead of to the eye and hopefully create a more complex image than what can be achieved by a retinal implant. The procedure was very costly to perform, costing approximately $80,000. After working hard to raise money, an experimental patient who had lost his vision 20 years prior was finally able to undergo it. So after allowing this patient 10 days in recovery, Dr. DeBell attempted to stimulate the electrodes, which were now attached to the surface of his visual cortex. Now there was a question as to whether or not the brain tissue of the visual cortex could still be stimulated after 20 years of blindness. However, immediately after the first stimulation attempt, Jens was struck with the reception of vision. He was able to see small spots of light within his visual field, proving the surgery had proving the surgery to be a success. Second. Where are they always so creepy? I think I do have five, but let's just go. Let's. Project Araniola. Araniola. Good morning, Mr. Darrow. Regarding the conversation we had last week, the project is advancing quite swiftly. We've managed to devise a new and improved prototype to better counter the quantum size effect. So far, the nanionics responding as planned, and the latent effects on biomaterials. Biomaterials are negligible. An unforeseen benefit is that using copper couplings make the units virtually undetectable. This will, on the other hand, require a very potent electronic virtual tracking system for maintenance and emergency procedures. We've been able to build and modify molecular structures on the fly using mechanosynthesis. Mechanosynthesis? Samples are all responded very well, apart for the usual rejection syndrome, of course, that always sets in after a few minutes. The effects are even more potent on the molecular level. That's why the news for some of your associates are so promising. Promising. Currently, they're on the verge of isolating and replicating DNA segments that present no rejection syndrome whatsoever. I don't know how you and your team got access to those samples, but I don't care. Do you realize what this could mean? We're finally there. Imagine that a regular looking human being, nothing unnatural in his appearance, and still the power of billions of machines within him, manipulated at will. This is the future, Mr. Barrow. Okay. Oh, there's another book. Down to Cases, Hugh Darrow's final interview. Hugh Darrow, the fact is, Eliza, the last few years have taught me some very valuable lessons. 
Isaac like Hassan. I understand you've had some controversial things to say about augmentation technology. I've ruffled some feathers to be sure, but I have that right. That technology wouldn't exist without you. The, the fact is, what's that bloody Einstein quote about the A-bomb? If only I had known, I should have become a watchmaker. Yes, that's the one. I know what he meant. These days I'm thinking, thinking too far. I'm wondering about putting the gene, genie back in the bottle. Is that possible? Everything is possible. Having the ability to transcend our limits is one thing, but racing uncontrolled towards some blind singularity. We're in danger of becoming two species, those in power is those empowered and those left behind. Getting my team out of here. You have to go to Panchea and stop Hugh. You and I aren't done with this, Megan. I know how it looks, but you have to stop the broadcast. I think it's causing the new biochips to overstimulate the vagus nerve, creating terrifying hallucinations. You mean it's driving augmented people insane? Yes, and it's up to you to stop it. Use the Leo shuttle. It will take you to Panchea. Good luck, Adam. Okay, so we can try and sneak past everybody. Or maybe it doesn't matter, maybe they just both see us. No, I know, I know, I heard it, I heard it, I did, I did, I did. Automated systems online. Darrow sequence one, code one, one A, preset and ready to engage. Suborbital trajectory plotted. Destination, Panchea. Begin countdown, Mr. Darrow. Begin countdown. Code, zero, zero, zero. Confirm, zero. Countdown commencing. Okay.
how do we get up here? Jensen. Jensen, can you read me? Barely. I've reached Panchea, Pritchard. Any word from Sarah for the UN delegates? Nothing. The installation went into lockdown shortly after Darrow gave his speech. I can't tell if anyone's even alive. And the signal's still broadcasting. Meaning no one's safe till I get in there and shut it down. You'll have to disengage the lockdown first. Look for a master control panel at the top of the tower. Hmm. Okay. Can I just fly one of these helicopters up? You hear more. Friends with vents on mind. I think I figured out how to keep those freaks away. I soaked the floor outside of the control room and then electrified it. The downer power cable seems to be working. I'm about to live. Get your ass over here. I'm on my way. It may take a while. These freaks are everywhere. Alright, so.
Do we want it? Kill him or make you to just shock him? Guess we'll find out. Let's be upgrade. Combine. But man, they're everywhere. No way Johnson makes it to the tower. Where the hell is he trying to disengage lockdown? Anyway, we have to keep him shut, shut in down there. Change of plan, meet me in the hangar. We'll use one of the choppers and send back help when we're safe. Be careful. Okay. Pritchard, Francia's broadcast center is at the base of the station near the bottom of the ocean. Is that right? But the lockdown caused all the blast doors to seal. You won't be able to go down until you override the manually. From up in the tower. I got it. <coughs> hmm. through that door. Sounds like there's somebody around. Okay. 
You're right. Miss that because that because uh, for the duration of the summit door code to Miss Trudeau's temporary dressing room will be eight zero two four. Please try to explain to both the Prime Minister and his wife that the chair is still under construction. So she shouldn't be expecting something akin to the Chateau Laurier luxury suite she's grown so accustomed to in Ottawa. Especially given how little time we this summit. Thank you. Conversation, Punja Ocean installation by online emergency situation detected. We've detected Major power fluctuations, pressure instability, outage, malfunctions across wide area, oceanic station, situation, approaching critical, responsive. Okay, Just disengage lockdown, proceed to main tower and use manual over 747736. Have a nice day. I guess that's the code we need. This is not a test. Departure Ocean yeah. Oceanic Installation 5 is experiencing a temporary emergency lockdown situation. This is not a test. No one may enter or exit the facility while the lockdown safety measure is in effect. All movement between sectors is likewise prohibited. Panchia security response teams have been notified and mobilized. Please remain at your workstations while the lockdown is in effect. Security staff will alert you when it is safe to resume normal work activities. It's automatically generated from the Panchia Ocean. Installation by Mirren Core. I see it, mummy. Okay. Who are you and what do you see? It's big enough space that I don't need to take up. Mirren Ocean's phytoplankton stimulus and global warming. The 2008 moratorium called into action by the United Nations Convention on Biological Diversity severely curtailed the leaps and bounds being made by scientists working on the concept of iron seeding as a manner in which global warming could be combated. Alarmists claim of damage to the ecosystem, so-called nutrient shifting, Namina and ill research statements stating that this method could actually increase green greenhouse emissions have no basis in fact. However, it is fortunate that the Corporate Sovereignty Act 2017 and other exceptions to the UN advisory have allowed the development cycle of this important technology to continue. The process works as follows. Iron dust seeded across large expanses of oceans stimulate the growth of Phytoplankton, their two month photosynthesis biocycle. Process that draws carbon from the atmosphere and deposits it on the seabed following the natural termination of the organism. Okay. Mm. Big hole.
Emergency lockdown. Hey Russ, can you tell me if the login and password info had a site station? If it's correct, I think it's this. Yes, I know, no, I should just ask the network, but you know how those automated messages creep me out. Yes, we haven't read this one. What am I generated coordinates with emergency lockdown? The following command will be in effect until it's activated. Emergency alert system, class A control centers, rooms locked. Secure class A, locked, indicated security terminals, activate auto laser protection, robot control, full purge and breakdown. Promised land awaits. Whatever this signal is, Back to the AI. Nobody here, but this looks like it's been pushed out or pulled out. Still no rifling gun. What's this? Heavy rifle, plasma rifle, cooling system. Okay. Don't have either of those. That's fine. people. Shock. Take. I thought I turned off the camera. Hmm. 
I don't think you want to do that, Mr. Jensen. Disengage lockdown, and whatever demons this station contains are likely to come crashing out on us. Afraid to die, Darrow? Or just unwilling to face what you've done? Oh, I know what I've done, believe me. I take no pleasure in it. And yet you still did it. I did what had to be done. Twenty years ago, I gave the world augmentation technology. I thought I was giving it a bright future, but instead I gave it the means to destroy itself. No law, no UN regulation was going to fix that. People are dying out there. Hundreds of thousands of people driven to the brink of insanity because of you. I had to convince the world. Before today, people believed we should steal fire from the gods and redesign human nature. Human nature is the only thing we have that gives us a moral compass and the social skills we need to live in peace. Destroy it, and you destroy our very species. Don't paint yourself a savior in this. What you're doing is insane. Is it? When this is done, the Illuminati won't be able to control men and women like you as they had planned from the inside out. No one will be able to use the technology I invented to make others into beings they desire. Something we both know has happened already. You think you're Frankenstein? Killing his own monster? Actually, Mr. Jensen, I prefer to think of myself as Daedalus, watching helplessly as his child crashes into the sea. Mm -hmm. I'm ending this. Now. You can't. The signal is being generated from the broadcast center at the base of this facility. Pancea's security system has been programmed to protect it, and will kill you before you even get close. You designed that system, Darrow. You can tell me how to shut it down. But I won't. You think what I'm doing is extreme. You simply don't understand. For humanity to survive beyond this century, it must abandon ill-conceived notions about transcendence and embrace change. But for that to happen, the hard lesson must be learned. Blood must be shed. Hmm. Okay, so if we appeal and get Daryl, please think of the individuals you're hurting. Help them stop this. I don't think that's going to do anything. We extrapolate. You think humanity needs to be punished? Is that it? By the time this is over, there will be no humanity left to embrace your change. You're doing is horrific. You can't force people to change. They have to do it on their own. Nothing more to say, Mr. Jensen. Okay. Okay, not so much. Um. I don't know if this is just like a single choice. I think extrapolate. You think humanity needs to be punished? Is that it? Pain is the only thing people understand? By the time this is over, there will be no humanity left to embrace your change. The stress and horror you forced us to live through will have ripped it out of us. I... I knew there would be casualties, but I thought, over time, surely the human spirit can recover. Even as I listen to your words, I realize a cruel truth. No one else has the vision to see what I've seen, the will to do what I have done. You're all too weak, judging but never acting. None of you have the moral courage to see this through to its conclusion. Well, so be it. Hmm. None of it matters, because this is what will happen now. After today, whatever you say will be dismissed as the ravings of a mass murderer. Whatever moral high ground you're standing on is nothing but a stack of innocent victims you're trying to justify genocide. You want to see what you see, but how can we, when we're grieving over the people you forced us to leave behind? Uh... This change based on the previous. Nothing more to say, Mr. Jensen. I feel like extrapolate again is probably the better option with this guy. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're wrong. 
None of it matters, because this is what will happen now. After today, whatever you say will be dismissed as the ravings of a mass murderer. You were one of the greatest minds of our time, and tomorrow you'll be nothing but a killer. But... but they can't think that. They'll be missing the point. Don't you see? I created people like you. I made it possible for you to happen. If fate had dealt me a different hand, then perhaps... perhaps neither of us would be here. Isn't it obvious how fate is now conspiring to overtake us both, to grind us beneath her wheels? We must see this through, lest people like you continue to evolve and destabilize society. Mm, people like me, you mean not like you. Your creation is, creation is leaving you behind, but I will use it to evolve without you. Again, that feels like the one to use. Not interested in saving humanity, Darrow. This is about jealousy, pure and simple. You can't stand anyone leaving you behind. I'm still you and step back for just one moment and see it through our eyes. People Strange. like me. You mean not like you. You changed the world when you invented this technology, but your creation is leaving you behind. And as long as it's allowed to continue, mankind will use it to evolve without you until the father of tomorrow is known as yesterday's man. You think I am doing this for my ego? I never wanted this, any of it, but I had no choice. Once upon a time, I would have given all I had to be like you, but genetics cheated me of that chance, cursed me to become a cripple. And you know what? I'm relieved because I look in your eyes and I see how disturbed you are by what you have become. Admit it, Mr. Jensen. You've done things with those enhancements of yours you would never have considered before. You know your humanity is ebbing away. When all of this is over, nothing will be left but anarchy and fear smoldering in the ashes of burning cities. How can anything be rebuilt from that? You covered up with all the pretense about saving the world, try to justify it. But deep down inside, you're nothing more than an angry child, spiteful, full of hate, envious, and bitter. How petty is that? Is hatred really the only thing you have left? Look at what you've done out there. Open your eye. Look. Uh, nothing more to say. Don't like to extrapolate with this one. I think probably critique. You cover it up with all that pretense about saving the world. Try to justify it. But deep down inside, you're nothing more than an angry child. Spiteful, full of hate, envious and bitter. How petty is that? Petty? I was betrayed by my own genetics. Ruined by my own flesh. What right do you have to condemn me? To curse me? All I ever wanted was to build something good. Something magnificent. And now... There's so much blood. So much blood. I... I will give you what you want, Mr. Jensen. Codes to shut down Panchea's security system. But you'll still be in danger. Much of the system is self-determining. And lethal. When you see it, maybe then you'll understand. The technology I created will not be the future any one of us desires. Please, help the world understand that. Hey, um, reach the broadcast center. Secretary, it's an automatically generated message from. Excuse me. The shutdown protocol input configuration has now been preset for 2012. Hello, Father. Um, did we pick up the thing he dropped? I assume so. Let's read this and then we'll finish up for now. The speech Secretary General 
Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, David Sarek has asked me to assemble you here today so that we might speak openly and honestly about a global issue, an issue which even now threatens to pull our society apart. I am speaking, of course, of human enhancement technology, the merging of man and machine. Contrary to popular opinion, I did not come up with the concept, but 20 years ago I embraced it with all my heart and soul, for I believed that blending technology with human biology would enable us to reach a level of achievement which only gods can achieve. I saw us as living I saw us living as gods, in a realm without illness, suffering or death, a realm in which every individual is able to become the man that biology, society, circumstance or fate has tried so desperately to keep him from becoming. I myself hoped to be one of those men. Twenty years later I can say with certainty that this dream I had is tarnished. Human enhancement technology has not turned us into gods. Instead it has opened the door once again for powerful men to believe they have the right to make others what they please. Men want control of the future of the world of each other. David asked me to show the world how human enhancement technology can change it. And after careful deliberation, I've realized I must do exactly that. I know that many of you will condemn me after today, but I also believe that one day I will be remembered as the man who saved humanity. David, forgive me. Okay. Well, thank you for joining. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. When we come back, we will figure out how to fix all this Duh. all the best catch you next time